Welcome back, and it is finally almost here. The NFL Draft starts tomorrow night in Kansas City, and it's no secret the Colts are on the hunt for a quarterback right now. The team has the fourth pick as of right now, uh, overall pick. Matt Taylor, voice of the Colts, is here to sort of walk us through what we could be seeing in the next couple days. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be busy and who the Colts could end up with. So let's start out uh, obviously focusing on quarterback with Bryce Young. I mean, how much are you hearing that name right now? I mean, everyone's talking about him, but for the Colts specifically, the, the pros and cons there. Well, everybody seems to think that Bryce Young is going to be the first overall pick with the Carolina Panthers. And when you see him play in college, obviously he's a shorter quarterback. He's barely six foot. He's 200 pounds, but it really doesn't show up on tape. He doesn't get a lot of balls batted down at the line of scrimmage. Uh, he's accurate over the middle. He's incredibly athletic. Played in one of the best programs in all of college football, obviously at Alabama. So I think he's going to be the number one pick, and a lot of people would agree with that. So, I mean, it would seem to be unlikely that the Colts will have access to him. So we move on then to Will Levis from Kentucky. Right. Yeah, he is. If you, if you want a prototypical uh, quarterback that looks like an NFL quarterback, this might be your guy. Six foot three, 230 pounds. I mean, just look at him. He looks like a quarterback in the National Football League. Mm. Got a cannon for a right arm and was a guy that at uh, Kentucky that led the Wildcats to a 10 win season in 2021. All right, so then we got Anthony Richardson from Florida. What could unfold, uh, you know, with that potential? He is, he is really an, a fascinating player. He only played 13 games at Florida, 6-6 six and six record. But if you want athleticism and upside, this might be your guy. He is one of the best quarterbacks in terms of, like, raw athleticism in the history of the combine. Blew it out of the water at, at his pro day. And just might be the most athletic guy that has come out of that position in a long, long time. But the resume is only 13 games, 53% completion percentage at Florida. So very much an enigma with high upside, but you don't know how he's going to translate to the next level. Can we be hearing more about Stroud as a possibility at, at the fourth pick? Yeah, C.J. Stroud from Ohio State. You're, you're starting to hear some things on, on why his draft stock is falling, and I don't know where it's coming from yeah. because at Ohio State, led the Buckeyes to the college football playoff, two-time Heisman runner-up there uh, in Big Ten country. And again, he played with some really good players, and I think that might be the perceived knock on him. I really don't understand that, yeah. that he played with too good of players. He was on too good of a team, wasn't asked to do too much. I don't really buy that. I think he's an incredibly accurate passer, about 70% completion percentage in the Big Ten. Um, showed some athleticism and some you know, off-schedule plays in the college football playoff against Georgia, maybe the best defense in the country. Yeah. So I really don't understand why people don't love C.J. Stroud, because I do. I'd be happy with any of these quarterbacks. I really would. And none of this, these decisions could be made in a vacuum. They have to fit right with what we do have already. Uh, O-line, I know that's going to be a, a focus, mm -hmm. increasing the depth there. Yeah, other needs for the Colts in terms of or outside of quarterback. You, yeah, you talk about offensive line depth. Uh, maybe look at depth at right guard. Maybe depth at left tackle to push Bernard Ryman, who was a rookie last year, played on uh, the last half of the season as the starter at that left tackle position. And then I would say wide receiver. Does it make sense for the Colts to pair a young quarterback with a, another rookie wide receiver for those mm. two guys to grow and to gain some synergy a la Andrew Luck and T.Y. Hilton about 10 years ago? And then I would say cornerback, right? Stephon Gilmore was traded uh, to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Brandon Faison was lost lost in free agency and then upcoming you look at um, Isaiah Rogers is going to be a free agent Kenny Moore is going to be a free agent after this upcoming season so maybe the Colts address that in terms of depth in the secondary and I know there are questions still again about Shaq Leonard um, you know, but it doesn't sound like they're putting a whole lot of emphasis on the, you know, the right. linebacker squad right now, but boy, everyone's hoping he can really be back. Absolutely. I mean, he just hasn't played a lot of football. I mean, the last time he really was a consistent, you know, member of that defense was January of 2022. Hmm. And so he only played in 74 snaps last year, had two surgeries in a span of six months. And he talked to the media last week. He was his normal, bubbly, outgoing, energetic self, but he recognizes that he still has some, some hurdles to jump over some milestones to meet in order to get back on the field but there's still about four months before we start playing for real and 
hopefully this defense under Gus Bradley can get Shaq back. Boy, the most interesting draft for the Colts since, what, the Luck uh, draft, and then before that, Peyton Manning, Absolutely. Too. I know you guys are going to be blowing it up on the radio, too. Talk about what you've got. Coming. Yeah, we're going to have some fun on Thursday night and Friday night. We're going to start at 7 o'clock both nights, take you through rounds 1 through 3, live pick-by-pick -pick analysis on the home of the Colts, our flagship station, 93.5 and 107.5, The Fan. So we'll have uh, Rick Venturi, myself, Joe Wrights, breaking it all down, pick-by-pick, -pick, and recap and what the Colts do at the top of the draft at number four. And for the NDY, oh, can you do it for me one time? For the <laughs> INDY. Touchdown INDY. INDY. And remember, Fox 59 is your home for all things NFL draft. Tomorrow night at 7.30, we'll have a look at this year's quarterback selections and have live reports from Kansas City. Our guys are working hard. Then on Sunday night at 11 o'clock, wrapping up the draft with a recap of all the moves made by the uh, the horseshoe that is all right here on fox 59 matt thanks so much you're gonna have a weekend yeah it's gonna be busy <laughs> angelo send it over to you